This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Outside Now Inside. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what's going on, Corey Gang Fish fam? Welcome back to the channel, Fish for Thought. I'm your host, Chris. Today, we're finally doing something that has been highly recommended. Fish Tank Review TikTok Edition. I've been putting it off for a very long time because I know how hard-hitting TikTok fish reviews can be, and I'm just... I'm just not about that life. I'm just not casually trying to die. So it's taken a while to prep for this FTR. Let's just hope we survive until the end. For those of you who contributed to sending these videos in and been vocal about this suggestion, thank you, I guess. Without further ado, Fish Tank Review. Follow for more. Just can't get enough of that in my life. This is the quintessential TikTok fish tank, all right? You know, you spend enough time on TikTok and it's really game over for you. TikTok is crazy. I remember the last time I spent like three minutes on TikTok, I actually felt things I've never felt in my life. Now this thing isn't anything new to fish tank review. I just thought, you know, it's a classic. We gotta have this contraption on here somewhere. Might as well start with it. Dude throws way too many fish in a small tank. Proceeds to casually double the amount. Let's watch that back. I missed that. I didn't for a second think that it would stop there with the stocking. Heavens forbid there's someone out there going like, man, goldfish, yeah, that's not a good stocking choice for this small tank. You should go with a Siamese fighting fish, aka a betta fish. Kill me. Hey guys, if you're looking to support the channel and my sanity, please check out our sponsor below in the description and pinned comments, aquariumcoop.com. Now, a lot of channels out here going like, Mobile Legends, play now for three new characters. Great Shadow Legends, play now to get five free spins. What? Not only is Aquarium Co-op a relevant sponsor, they are one of the most legit aquarium companies out there. My personal favorite product from them is Aquarium Co-op's Easy Green. I love that I can just dose this once or twice a week. It works perfectly with my low-tech fish tanks and just an easy pump action. Fish, shrimp, and snail save. It is keeping my plants healthy and colorful. Go get yourself some Easy Green fertilizer today. It's still going. Please don't update tomorrow. We already know what happens. You and your husband are psychopaths. Straight out of the Ozarks, baby. Does it not trigger any alarm bells in your little head when you see nothing but tadpole that maybe fish aren't supposed to be going into this water in the middle of nowhere? I bet I can ask any one of you watching right now. Go ahead, leave your comments. Yeah, you probably said something like it's not their natural habitat. They could become invasive in the area. But also when you see a tadpole and no other fish in the water, please it should be common sense that maybe there's a reason for that. Unlike tadpoles, fish do not have metamorphosis. Their gills always remain gills and will not become lungs unless it's a lungfish. That doesn't look like Africa to me now, does it? That means there are no fishies like that wherever this is. This is a pool that's going to evaporate. The tadpoles have metamorphosized into frogs or toads. Now all these goldfish are going to die. That's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is that this pool is actually connected to some tributaries and some of these goldfish discover it and go into bigger lakes. When that happens, whole entire ecosystems go down. We're talking about anything to do with riparian zones. They will be demolished, including the plants. Goldfish are notoriously invasive. Please do not do this. Hey yo, pet check. Hey yo, I'm nervous. You know what, this is, I think this is the first and only time that I have seen the fish tank being the biggest. Not big enough for a shark, don't get me wrong. But have you seen the rabbit cage and the dog cage? Usually someone who has a lot of pets but also fish, they'll keep their fish in a small bowl or small tank. But their dog gets the whole house, their bunnies get to free roam. This might be the only instance where I'm like, yo, that dog doesn't have enough space compared to the fish. What is happening? Pet check. More like pet abuse. Abuse check. Girl out here just exposing her whole self. You wake up and you hear your little grandson playing. Look what he does. Oh my god. Is that a shoe? I didn't know your grandson was so talented in making biotopes. Why, this is clearly the Florida River Basin he's created here. What a masterful masterpiece. Castle. This is modern art. He's a vision. Okay, I Get like him it. into an art university ASAP. Only one shoe, not the whole pair. 
You have really outdone yourself as a grandparent. Faith in humanity restored. Although it is a TikTok exclusive sort of reaction, I'm still gonna be reviewing some of the fish tanks sent in to me. Just a few. And this one is actually beautiful. This is a black water aquascape, water lettuce, up top, dense roots coming down, matched with some stem plants going up, taking up most of the scape, filling it out. Botanicals like those birch cones. And I think it's a species tank of ember tetras. And they got a rescue bed of fish in there. And they sent in another tank. This is a 20 gallon. Plants on all sides, nicely leveled, the tallest plants in the back. You got scarlet baddies and assortment of nanofish. That's a pair of scarlet baddies right there. That's an amazing tank. A 20 gallon is a godsend size of a fish tank for nanofish and scarlet baddies. First tank getting a 4.45 out of 5, second tank getting a 4.6. Perfect, keep it up. So I'm looking on Realtor because I'm a nosy bitch who has no intention of buying, but I still like to know what's out there. Same. And I scroll down and I see this. What the fuck is that? Is that a trout? That's iconic. Someone clipped that voice. Is that a trout? Damn, that's a good find though. That's that's so random. But for real, what kind of fish is that? It is huge. Just randomly smack dab in this for sale house. Animal Crossing be like. Actually, I think that's still a tad bit better than Animal Crossing. Same thing with Stardew Valley. I've yet to see fish tanks properly portrayed in video game. Holy crap. This is a little worse than y'all might be thinking. Some of you might be like, this is a cool setup. This is a cool uh, PC right here. But here's what's up. Especially when gaming, running any heavier task, a PC can run up to like 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius. Now a betta fish and most or all tropical fish, they like a temperature between like 75 to 81 max degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius max. A PC can literally easily shoot up to 140, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That's almost double. That fish is dead. ATN sent their fish tank in. It's a simple little scape with some, I believe they're Oco stone. I don't know what the stocking is, but I think it's planted quite nicely. Giant salvinia up top, blocking some of the light, creating some ambience. Clean backdrop. Some sunken leaves for the healthy tannins. Some different species of java fern here. And some rotala in the back. Depending on how big this is, if it's at least a five gallon, it would be perfect for a one lucky betta fish. 4.4 .4 out of five, keep it up. This is a great sign. Whenever I see a child who cannot even talk yet handle fish, you know they're gonna do it perfectly well. Can't even talk yet. Couldn't even talk yet. Oh my. <laughs> I, I mean, I was expecting the hands, right? Little kids love to grab at everything and that includes fish that are trying to dart away from them. But I didn't expect him to drink the whole i didn't expect a water change of this level i ain't never seen a water change done like this before let me tell you that that's how it's done folks when you use your mouth as the siphon the only thing that he did wrong was spitting the water back in or or he could be onto some oral bacteria <laughs> The, f the fish, never mind. Salmonella. I forgot about that. That's right, fish got salmonella. Not only is this clear fish abuse, this is negligence. As a parent, you've Idiots. Pardon my francais, s'il vous plaît, madame et monsieur. But just suis très tired of these imbus. Mon dieu, sacre vache, dude. Qu'est-ce que c'est ton problème? This cylindrical tank sent in by Galaxy Mew from the Discord, FFT Discord. Now, these are always very tricky to escape, but Galaxy Mew did a fantastic job here. Looks like it's stocked with guppies and understocked at that. Looks like an assortment of Hydrocado leucosophala, maybe? It's a little hard to tell what that plant is. Someone help me out in the comments, please. Got floaters up top. I love that piece of wood that kind of twirls from the bottom up, helping to fill up this hard to escape tank. 4.3 out of 5, keep it up. <gasps> Is he dead? Gracie, look at the water! <gasps> oh, that's milk. That's what happens if you microwave milk. You get this surface... T oh. The cup to fix it. Nice nails, girl. Oh. Gracie, that's so mean. Where is it? <laughs> Gracie, being called out here. Is he dead? Oh. No, that milk is still yep, alive. That fish is still alive. Damn. Can you believe it? The resilience of betta fish, ladies and gentlemen, they don't deserve to be abused just because they are survivors. If your water pokes back when you poke it, it's high time to do some research. <laughs> That's not asking much, right? If your water starts poking back at you, shouldn't shouldn't you find out what the hell's going on? Shouldn't you kind of reflect on your decisions and maybe realize that there might be things that you're not doing properly? Bro, Obi is effing dead. Technically, Obi is not yet. Can we get an F in the chat for Obi? F in the chat for Obi folks. Amazing. I just get so excited when goldfish finally get to be put into a planted tank. 
you know, live plants and goldfish. It's just a beautiful thing. The only thing is they don't do anything if it's a ecosphere, if it's an enclosed ecosphere. You don't put goldfish into a jar. Are you? The jar look nice with just the plants. Not sure why you gotta throw some fish abuse in there, right? These people don't know when to stop. A little bit of shrimp, maybe if you really had to put in some guppies. That jar looked big enough for guppies. You got enough plants in there to maybe get the walls dead method going. But goldfish, they're immediately gasping for air. You have eyes, you can see. Can't, can't you see that? At least it is planted so I don't need a filter. Right guys? This one I hate. Plants are great after the fact. If you got goldfish in an ecosphere, plants don't do jack sh Am, is it just me or am I swearing more this episode? Gee, I wonder why. Definitely can't be because I took some of y'all's suggestions and did a TikTok only fish tank review. What am I doing in my life? Well, that that's the final straw, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't never seen a pea puffer actually puff up. You know, I kind of forgot that pea puffers were puffer fish because they're so docile and they never puff up. I'm gonna have to wash my eyes out now. That is something I wanted to unsee. Well, this has been a trip. I don't know when I'm gonna do this again, but it's gonna take me a while. It's gonna take some uh, recovering. Welcome back to the end of the episode. Thank you guys for sticking all the way till the end, supporting the channel, sticking with me here. Without further ado, it's time for Katua. Question of the week for this episode is, which one of these clips was the worst, in your opinion? Again, to support this channel, please check out our sponsor, quorumcall.com, link in the description and pinned comments. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe, there'll be more videos to come, and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot, coming in hot, ventral fin die, acclimate that, with my shoal act, cure my fin rot, from caraciformes to parenture, hold on, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for, live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone, three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic, I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.